I'm Billy McCord and welcome back to Recycle Creations. Today I'm going to be building this little wall sconce. It's kind of a crafty little item, maybe a little departure from other things on my channel, but I'm attending a craft show in a few weeks and I'm building up an inventory of items to sell. I've built several variations of the wall sconce uh, that I'll be selling there and I'll put a link in the description of this video to the craft show and address and whatnot if you'd like to attend if you're in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. One of the other items that I've been working on are these serving trays. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that there's a video, the very first video that I ever did, uh, where I show how to put one of these together. I'll put an end card on the end of this video showing you how to do that. These things make great uh, gifts for the holidays, uh, housewarming gifts, or if you want to try your hand at selling at a craft fair, you can put several of these together and try that out as well. Thanks a lot and thanks for watching. While I set up this shot, let me remind you to know, understand, and follow all the safety instructions that come with your equipment. And don't do something just because a guy on the internet did it. I started out by searching through my recently acquired pilot wood to find suitable pieces. I trimmed the pieces to length and then gave them a quick sand to remove the splinters and the worst of the dirt and debris that may be on the pallet. This particular design is pretty rustic, so I grabbed some pretty gnarly scraps to make the little bracket that holds up the shelf. I'm creating a sort of different joint uh, that creates a 90 degree right angle bracket, but it's a little more decorative and it produces a lot more glue surface. I lay out the cut lines with a pencil with the boards overlapped at 90 degrees and then finally nail the boards back together with a brad nail. Then cut it out over at the bandsaw. You want to back out of your cut very carefully as to not widen the cut any more than necessary. And then also you want to leave that little short edge straight cut as fat as possible. Leaving that cut fat allows you to sneak up on the best fit. Then you can just peel off that little scrap piece and the joint fits together. Then it just glues up and a couple of bread nails to hold it while the glue dries. I put a little extra glue in the joint and then sanded it flush so that the joint just almost disappears. I grabbed a gallon paint can and used that to draw a nice sweeping arc around the bracket and then cut it out over at the bandsaw. My first plan had been to leave the shelf just in its natural cutoff state, but I decided to put the same arc around the shelf as I did the bracket to kind of tie the design together. A quick glue up and brad nails hold the entire assembly together. There I'm just using a chisel and an old rag to clean up the glue squeeze out. Now for a step that's liable to bring out the trolls. I just used some cheap flat black paint misted on 
haphazardly to accentuate any of the natural flaws in the wood as well as the saw marks. Then just use my orbital sanders to clean that back up and leave behind anything that's in a low spot. In another troll worthy step, I'm just putting on what I call garbage stain. It's essentially just a can of stain that I keep around and as I finish up and have just a little dab of stain left in a can, I pour it all into this one can, keeping the brands consistent so nothing mixes badly. And I just use it for projects like this anytime I want to seal up the wood and darken things a bit. And yes, I'm completely aware of how much of a mess I made on my table saw. But look, it wipes right up. Outside, I sprayed on a couple of coats of clear. Just a cheap clear coating and lightly sanded in between. I used a little craft store bottle to form a little hurricane lantern chimney by cutting the bottom out on my tile saw. I saw this in somebody else's video the other day. I wish I could give them a shout out but I don't remember who but it works perfectly. Finally just some beauty shots of the project and some variations that I've also made recently. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, please click the like button and share it out amongst your friends. Leave me a comment below if you have questions or constructive criticism.